Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, March 4, 2016. This week, coloring book craze goes digital with Photoshop and Elements. Hand colored look. If you love to color as a child like I did, the new adult coloring book craze has probably piqued your curiosity. Katie Pertit's coloring book crazy products are great fun to print out and color with markers, colored pencils, or crayons. Or you can go completely digital with the craft and color the pages with Photoshop or Elements, opening up a whole array of creative options that you probably never dreamed of as a child. In this series, we'll explore a number of ways to digitally color line art like the Coloring Book Crazy line or Doodle Do Art or printable coloring book page overlays. To get started, load a brush into your software. Grunge, ink, paint, and watercolor brushes work really well for this technique. You might want to try the Artsy Paint Type Cluster Brushes, the Artsy Mesh Cluster Brushes, the Art Pack Loops Brushes and Stamps, or any of the other brushes in the store. If you've never loaded brushes before, you can get to the Preset Manager by choosing Edit, Presets, Preset Manager. In Photoshop Elements, it will just be Edit Preset Manager. Choose Preset Type Brushes or Brush from the drop-down menu, and then click Load over on the right side. From there, it's as simple as navigating to your brush file, wherever you've downloaded it to on your computer, and then clicking Load. And done. Continue by opening the coloring book product of your choice. You can use this method whether you're using a PNG overlay product or a JPEG digital paper product. Click the coloring book layer in the layers panel to select it. And you'll know it's selected when it becomes highlighted. Get the magic wand tool, which shares a space on the toolbar with the quick selection tool. Click and hold the quick selection tool to activate the flyout menu and then choose Magic Wand. In Elements, you'll choose the Quick Selection tool and then Magic Wand down in the Options bar at the bottom of the editing window. In the Options bar, choose Add to Selection and then tick Contiguous. Click on the section of the coloring book that you want to color in. For instance, this line or some of these triangles or maybe even a few dots. You'll see a selection which looks like marching ants surrounding the portion that you're coloring in. Click in all of the portions of the page that you want to color the first color. You'll have a number of marching ant selections active at the same time because you're using the Add to Selection option. Next, create a new transparent layer by clicking the Create a New Layer icon in the Layers panel. It looks like a little post-it note with the turned up corner. This places a transparent layer above the coloring book layer. Next, choose your color. Go to the foreground color chip, which is the left chip under the tool bin. This activates the color picker. You can use the rainbow slider to select a color family and then drag your cursor around to select a color from within that color family. When you get the color you want, click OK. Next, get the brush tool and select the brush that you want to use from the brush picker in the options bar. The brushes that you loaded in the first step will be at the bottom of the brush picker. In the full version of Photoshop, I like to go ahead and reduce the flow a little bit so that I can get an overlapping look. Begin by clicking on the image and you'll see that the brushwork appears only in the selected areas. Continue clicking until you have filled your selections to your liking. You can click the brush settings to adjust the brush dynamics like spacing, jitter, and angle. I especially like to use the angle jitter because it makes it look a little bit more realistic. In Photoshop, you'll find this folder icon next to the brush picker, but in Elements, the brush settings button is in the options at the bottom of the screen. You can use several different brushes in the same selection to get a more realistic look. Just switch to another brush from the brush picker and then continue clicking. Let your creativity loose with this technique. You can try scribbling with a round hard brush for a doodled effect. Or how about using several pastel colors on each layer for a soft watercolor effect. You can even try using a brush set with images like watery wings to color the page. 
press Control D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the selections and then repeat the process for the second color you're using. Make sure that you select the coloring book layer though before using the magic wand tool again. Be sure to create a new transparent layer before filling the selections with color so that each section of your brushwork is on its own layer. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip where we'll work through a method for coloring with patterns and papers.